Welcome to our channel. Have you ever wondered why some of the most deeply empathetic and fiercely independent people, specifically Sigma empaths, seem to walk through life alone? These individuals are often misunderstood because, despite their remarkable qualities, they tend to be solitary, navigating their path without many close connections. As the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche once said, it's not a lack of love, but a lack of friendship that makes unhappy marriages. This thought-provoking idea holds true for Sigma empaths, but not just in marriage. For them, friendships and even casual connections can feel elusive. Sigma empaths are individuals who possess both an incredible depth of empathy and a strong sense of independence, despite their natural ability to understand others on a profound level. They often struggle to find people who understand them, their solitary nature isn't about a lack of desire for connection, it's more about how the world around them often misreads their uniqueness. Today, we're going to explore the reasons why Sigma empaths, with their remarkable sensitivity and intelligence, frequently find themselves without close relationships. And why this solitude is often a conscious choice rather than a consequence. Let's dive in and discover what sets these extraordinary individuals apart. Number 1. Sigma empaths sense hidden motives quickly. One of the most striking qualities of Sigma empaths is their heightened ability to sense hidden motives. It's almost like they have a built-in radar for picking up on what others might miss. This sensitivity isn't just about reading facial expressions or body language, it's much deeper than that. Sigma empaths can feel the underlying emotions and intentions of those around them. When someone tries to get too close too quickly, their instincts kick in, raising internal alarms. Imagine this, you meet someone new, and they're overwhelmingly friendly, eager to be part of your life from the first conversation. Most people would see this as a warm gesture, a sign of potential friendship. But for a Sigma empath, it's different. They start asking themselves, why are they so eager what's behind this sudden interest, this level of caution, comes from experience. Their empathy has taught them that not all smiles are genuine and not every kind gesture is without strings attached. This intense awareness often leads Sigma empaths to hold people at arm's length, especially early on. It's not that they don't want relationships or connections, it's that they want the right ones. Trust is something they don't give away easily. This self-protective instinct, while a strength, can also make it hard for them to form close bonds. Until someone proves their intentions are pure, a Sigma empath will maintain their distance, prioritizing emotional safety over the risk of being let down. Number two, even family connections can feel strained. For Sigma empaths, the old saying family is everything doesn't always hold true. They know that just because someone shares their DNA doesn't mean that person automatically has their best interests at heart. Sigma empaths have an uncanny ability to see through surface-level support, recognizing when family members offer help that comes with strings attached. It might be the aunt who constantly reminds them of all the sacrifices she's made, or the sibling who offers advice, but only if it benefits their own agenda. Take, for example, the family gathering where everyone is meant to come together and enjoy each other's company. A Sigma empath, however, can feel the tension under the surface. Uncle Bob might compliment their career but slip in a comment about how they should be doing more with their life. Aunt Karen offers a shoulder to cry on but soon turns the conversation back to her own struggles. It's this subtle but constant pull of conditional support that wears them down. To outsiders it might look like love, but to the Sigma empath it feels more like manipulation. Over time, this dynamic takes a toll. Sigma empaths would rather preserve their peace than get tangled up in family drama. They'd rather be alone than endure relationships that come with guilt-tripping or passive-aggressive comments. As hard as it may seem, many Sigma empaths choose to distance themselves from family members who don't offer genuine support, because for them, being true to themselves is more important than maintaining toxic connections, even within their own family. Number 3. Drama repels Sigma empaths. If drama were a person, Sigma empaths would be the ones quietly slipping out the back door before it even made an entrance. They have a natural aversion to chaos, especially the kind that comes from gossip, petty arguments, or emotional conflicts. For them, engaging in drama feels like wasting energy that could be better spent on things that matter whether that's personal growth, a creative project, or simply enjoying the quiet moments of life. 
Picture this a group of friends sitting around, dissecting someone else's life, blowing up small misunderstandings into major issues. For many, this kind of conversation can be entertaining or even bonding, but for the Sigma empath, it's exhausting. They quickly sense how negativity spirals and how it drains the room of any meaningful connection. Instead of getting drawn into the vortex of gossip, they'd much rather step away, find a peaceful corner, and focus on something that brings them a sense of calm and purpose. This tendency to avoid drama doesn't go unnoticed by others. To some, Sigma empaths might seem aloof or even disinterested because they don't engage in the social conflicts that others thrive on. They're not the type to get involved in group dynamics or take sides in petty disagreements. But while this protects their emotional well-being, it can also push them further away from social circles. People may mistake their desire for peace as indifference, not realizing that Sigma empaths simply value harmony over conflict. Number four, they don't need large social circles. Sigma empaths are the type of people who find fulfillment in deep, meaningful connections rather than a wide network of acquaintances. While others might feel the need to constantly expand their social circles, collecting friends and attending every event, Sigma empaths are perfectly content with one or two close relationships. For them, it's not about how many people they know, but how well they know and connect with those few individuals. Imagine a weekend where most people are making plans with large groups, bouncing from one gathering to another. The Sigma Empath, on the other hand, might choose to spend that time alone reading, working on a creative project, or simply reflecting in solitude. This isn't because they dislike company, but because they value their inner world and enjoy the peace that comes from being alone. When they do seek out connection, it's usually with someone they trust deeply, someone they can have a real, soul-nourishing conversation with. This selective approach to relationships often leaves them with fewer connections, but they wouldn't have it any other way. They'd rather invest in a handful of meaningful relationships than spread themselves thin across a large group of surface-level acquaintances. To a Sigma empath, quality always outweighs quantity, and the value of deep understanding and trust far surpasses the fleeting satisfaction of being surrounded by many. Number 5. Intimidating Privacy Sigma empaths are known for their incredible sense of privacy and reserve. They have a natural inclination to keep personal details close to their chest, and this can come across as intimidating to others. It's not that they're trying to be standoffish or secretive, it's just that they place a high value on their personal space and boundaries. Consider a scenario where someone is trying to get to know a Sigma empath, they might ask questions about hobbies, interests or personal experiences, but the answers come back vague or guarded. This can make others feel as if they're trying to crack a code or break into a vault. For someone who's used to sharing openly, this level of privacy can feel like a barrier, making it hard to build a connection. The impact of this intense privacy is significant. Potential friends or partners may feel shut out or unappreciated when they can't get past the surface. It can lead them to believe that the Sigma Empath is aloof or uninterested, even though the reality is quite different. The Sigma Empath's reserved nature is simply a way of protecting their personal world, and this can inadvertently push people away who might otherwise be interested in forging a deeper bond. Number 6. Not desperate for social validation. Sigma Empaths are quite comfortable in their own company and aren't driven by a need for social validation. While many people seek constant reassurance and social interaction to feel fulfilled, Sigma Empaths are perfectly content on their own. They find joy and satisfaction in solitude, using their time to dive into personal projects, reflect on their lives, or simply enjoy quiet moments of peace. Imagine a Sigma empath during a weekend when most are bustling around social events and parties. Instead of feeling the need to join in or keep up with the crowd, they might be at home, fully engaged in a creative project or lost in a book that captures their interest. Their sense of contentment with being alone isn't about avoiding people, it's about finding happiness and purpose within themselves. This strong sense of self-sufficiency can sometimes be misunderstood by others. People might perceive their contentment as indifference or aloofness, mistaking their solitary nature for a lack of interest in forming connections. In reality, Sigma empaths value their independence and don't need to chase after social approval to feel complete. 
This self-reliance, while a strength, can further isolate them from those who misinterpret their solitude as disinterest. Number 7. Fundamental Loneliness even though Sigma empaths often seem perfectly at ease with their independence, they can experience a profound sense of loneliness. This isn't about being alone physically, rather. It's about feeling misunderstood and out of sync with the world around them. Their unique perspectives and deep emotional insights often set them apart, making it hard to find people who truly grasp their inner world. Imagine a Sigma empath attending a social gathering where everyone is chatting about everyday topics. While others engage in light-hearted conversation, the Sigma Empath might find themselves pondering deeper questions or reflecting on profound ideas. This contrast can make their experiences and feelings seem distant from those of the people around them. It's not that they're not enjoying the company, it's just that the conversations and connections often feel shallow compared to the depth they crave. The impact of this sense of fundamental loneliness is significant. Sigma empaths may yearn for meaningful connections that align with their deep emotional and intellectual needs, but they often struggle to find individuals who resonate on the same level. This longing for understanding can be both a source of strength and a challenge as they navigate their solitary journey while seeking out those rare moments of genuine connection. Number 8. Intellectual and emotional depth makes connection difficult. Sigma empaths often operate on a level of intellectual and emotional depth that can be challenging for others to relate to. Their thoughts and feelings delve into profound territories that go beyond the usual day-to-day -day chatter. This can make typical conversations about pop culture or everyday happenings feel unfulfilling for them. Picture a Sigma empath at a social gathering where the conversation revolves around the latest trends or light-hearted anecdotes. While everyone else engages in these discussions, the Sigma Empath might find their mind wandering to deeper existential questions or pondering the bigger picture of life. This gap between their intellectual and emotional depth and the surface-level conversations around them can create a sense of disconnection. They may find themselves feeling out of place, as if their thoughts and feelings are too complex to share in such settings. This disconnect doesn't just make social interactions less enjoyable, it can also isolate Sigma empaths from mainstream social circles. They might struggle to find people who match their level of depth and understanding, which can further reinforce their sense of being on the outside. While their intellectual and emotional depth is a strength, it can also leave them feeling like they're navigating a different world from those around them. Number 9. Fear of diluting their identity. Sigma empaths possess a strong, clear sense of who they are. They have spent years understanding their values, passions and beliefs, and they guard their identity closely. The thought of entering into relationships that might challenge or alter their core self is something they approach with caution. Imagine a Sigma empath meeting new people and evaluating potential friendships. They're not just considering whether they like the person or enjoy their company, they're also reflecting on whether these new connections align with their deeply held values. For example, if someone's views or behaviors might pressure them to compromise their principles or change who they are, they'll likely step back. It's not that they're rejecting people, it's that they're protecting their sense of self. This careful selectivity often results in a smaller circle of close relationships. While some might see this as a sign of being distant or detached, it's actually a deliberate choice made to maintain their individuality. Sigma empaths prefer to have a few deeply meaningful connections over many superficial ones. They're not willing to dilute their identity just for the sake of companionship, which means they often end up with fewer but more genuine relationships. So why do Sigma empaths have nobody in their lives? It's not because they don't want relationships, rather, their unique traits like heightened empathy, independence, selectivity, and a preference for privacy create challenges when it comes to connecting with most people. They navigate through a world filled with social dynamics that often feel disingenuous or draining. Their cautious approach and desire for authenticity can make forming bonds feel like a daunting task. Yet this solitude is not a weakness. It's a strength. By choosing to embrace their independence, Sigma empaths carve out space for personal growth and self-discovery. 
They focus on nurturing meaningful connections rather than accumulating a long list of acquaintances. In this way, they prioritize depth over breadth, creating relationships that resonate on a much more profound level. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and share this with someone who might appreciate it. Stay safe and see you in the next video.